Hello fellow YouTubers, my name is Charlene. I am actually going to walk you through how to do a Google spreadsheet database uh, via a free program called AppSheet. I am super excited about this, so much so that this is my first ever online tutorial. Um, the first thing you need to know, obviously, you're going to want a spreadsheet or you already have a spreadsheet either way it works out so we will go into Google Documents let's choose our sheets you can also if you have never created a spreadsheet come right up here to your search bar Google Sheets and it will bring you right to it go to Google Sheets so either way it works okay so we have our Google Sheets we're going to start a new sheet and I'm doing this from scratch from a a Gmail account that I don't typically use for Google Documents um, so that I can do it from scratch as though you all will be doing it from scratch so I'm going to make a database to keep track of my church attendance because it's simple. First, we need the date. The first thing you need to know uh, is the first line of your spreadsheet needs to be the titles um, that you're going to want in your database. Um, so that'll become more clear later. Just make sure this first line is your titles, just like you would do in a, in a normal spreadsheet. Um, so we will have um, Oh my goodness, total attendance, total adults, total children, something like that. Pretty simple. Um, our total attendance, we are going to make the sum of, excuse me, there we go, enter. So let's say on one twenty four two thousand sixteen. I don't actually know what the attendance was, but we're going to go with easy numbers. We're going to say we had thirty adults and we had ten children, and it will automatically total this up for us. Um, and you can actually take this and drag it down like so to make sure that it will sum. Any line you're in, now it will sum C4 to D4 right here um, in our future um, app. All right, so now we have this, we have our app done, and this will actually, um, it, in case you're not aware, using Google Documents instead of Microsoft Excel, um, it saves it like it backs it up as you are working all changes saved in drive so that you can access them from any computer if your computer crashes you can go to the library and pull up your email pull up your gmail account and go into your documents um, and they will all still be there you can share your spreadsheets with other people and your documents with other people and allow them access to edit them and it'll be uh, updated live um, it is a fantastic fantastic thing that they've done and they do it for free and I really appreciate it. Um, it it's, it's just fantastic. Okay, so now we're going to go to AppSheet, www.appsheet.com. Um, let's go ahead and we will sign in and we're going to sign in via Google. And I mean, obviously if you're signing in, they need to know your email address. Um, they need to be able to manage your spreadsheets. That's how it's going to back up. That has to be able to, to happen. Um, so if you're not okay with AppSheets being able to have your email address and get into your spreadsheets, then you're just not going to want to um, you're not going to want to use the program or or maybe create a dummy email address and um, a secondary email address, I should say, because I'm sure Google would be pretty upset with me calling it a dummy one, um, that, that didn't allow them access to everything you normally use and, and only to the spreadsheet you'd like. You know, that's an option. All right, so we're going to allow this. 
This is your My Apps tab. If you have already been logged in and already created an app, um, it might not take you directly to the My Apps tab. I think it takes you to your account. So you'd want to choose My Apps. We're going to make a new app. We're going to call it Church attendance, which it knows because I have practiced this once already. Um, I don't want sample data. I want to select my data. So because it's logged in via my Gmail account, it can see the spreadsheet named church attendance. We are going to select that spreadsheet and it's going to build an app. It's just so fantastic because I've been fighting with the need for a database. Um, <laughs> I've been fighting for to need a, uh, with the need for a database via Google, and they just—it's not something that they offer. And um, this is so much simpler, so much simpler. I love it. All right, so we are going to go into the data. We want users of the app to add entries. Absolutely, that's the whole point they can delete entries absolutely because that's the whole point um, let's see what it says our errors are okay that is okay so we'll come down here to our settings and it's, it's saying that because in the which I accidentally drug to a different window I did not do that intentionally put it back where it belongs Oh, and it didn't go back. Okay. Um, it's saying that because these are here. So I, I'm not sure if maybe we don't actually have to do this and it will do it all by itself. I guess there's only one way to find out. Um, that should go away when it updates the next time. So we'll go, we'll regenerate it and back it up. Let's see what our warnings are now. Okay, well, let's see how it goes. Require, we do not want to require a sign-in that's already chosen. Um, and I really don't want it to be shared. Um, so I'm going to disable other people from being able to share the app. Also notice the program, when you just hover, it gives you pop-ups. Talk about ease of use. Um, they, they could not have made it any simpler at all. Um, I don't want it to delay the sync because it's a very simple little thing. Um, if you are doing a larger app and you're going to be making a lot of changes, you may want to delay the sync and set up the server cache so that it will not try and sync and you won't be waiting for this little window over here. Every time something changes, it backs it up right here. and. If you're doing a lot of work, that could get old, and then you can always come back in and turn it back off so that it will update immediately. Um, all right, and then and you come in here to share, and there's actually a link right here for your um, for your specific app. So I copied it. I did it with my uh, shortcut keys, but I will do it so that you can see it also. Um, we're going to come in here and we are going to email it to ourselves. Um, i use my other email address, link, like so. That's the email address that goes to my phone. The other thing that we can do in here, and I haven't done it. How did I do it? I just found this program this morning and was so excited by it. I haven't played with it quite enough. Oh, oh, it was actually in the email. Okay, so if we come in here, here is my app. They send you, when your app is finished, an email that gives you the link for your app. You can run the app in your web browser. You don't have to have it on a mobile phone. So essentially, it's like a database. Here is our attendance. This is the total attendance. New, total adults, total children, 
and it will give us the so let's put in a different date let's go a week before what would that have been the 17th so we'll go back to the 17th we'll say there was 25 adults and eight children we'll save it and there we can see our total attendance for that day also um, you can go back into the app it wants us to run a deployment readiness check so it'll give you warnings and it, they make it pretty simple to walk through some of the warnings that I've been getting and that I got in the larger uh, spreadsheet app that I created um, have to do more with the limits to the spreadsheet not necessarily limits um, things that I'm sure I did that it didn't like it has not affected how it runs at all um, so I these are things that we can go through um, and it it walks you through so nicely the different um, different ways that works now I will go and show you what happened on my phone um, and how the app works from there thank you for your time Okay, so you can also see there are options in there. You can I hit the My Apps, and it shows you both of the apps that I personally have made and downloaded to my phone. So before I close out, I just wanted to come back to my laptop and back into my Google Sheets page. We'll choose the attendance, and there you can see it automatically backed up and currently shows the three separate dates that we added via the uh, laptop which we can see it now this has not been synced so this just shows on my laptop where we we created the uh, 17th if I go ahead and sync that it will come back with the one that we just did via my phone so it is really that simple and you have this little app and I don't know how how personable you can make it now this says you can give it an icon and an app description that will come up on the phone um, I haven't done any of that to play with with that stuff I'm just so excited to actually have a database that I can use with my Google Sheets I hope you enjoy thanks so much for watching